Hello everyone, it's Charlotte here. Come on in, welcome to my home. We are finishing this. We are going to go ahead and put our tags in our journal and we are moving on to the next series. So if you remember, I had a hole. Um, Bonnie had had told me it mentioned in the comments that I could easily just glue a piece of um, ribbon on here because I'm going to put ribbon probably around this anyway but I decided to just go ahead and put some more thread through there to be able to add some beads so um, thank you Bonnie I thought the idea was great I had already decided to do this so I went ahead with that what I want to do today is I made some ephemera. And to be honest with you, I can't even really remember what, what I did, what I have. So I have quite a few pieces. I made some tags, sat down and just made a bunch of tags. And then I have tags from the kit. And a lot of these I don't think will fit. I think they're probably too big. These smaller ones should be fine. And we'll see if we can get any of these larger ones in here. But um, let's see what we've got. Like I said, I can't. Oh, this was a belly band. Okay, that's right. So I made this. I just collaged it and then added some... Tim Holtz elements to it and we could put that there but then I've got if you remember I did this on journal to inspire and then I just put a little graphic 45 tag in there and this might fit nicely Ooh, I like that so I think we're going to do that, but then I have this pocket. Let's see how deep this pocket is, because now it won't fit that way. You know, I have to admit, that probably would go way too deep. Then I have these, and I added some little, add a little label there and some flowers. don't know if this runs all the way down. I just, to be honest, I really, I can't remember. And then here is a collage tag. Let's see how this will work. This will go in there. And this one. Like that. Don't want them to get lost. And then this can go there. That's beautiful when you just first open this up. And then, okay, that's right. Then we have this. <laughs> oh, it's amazing how you forget what you created. So we've got some really pretty journal cards. So let's go ahead and put a couple in here. You put two in there. And then we have this right here. This is pretty. This is another one that I just, I collaged and then I added um, a stamp and some Tim Holtz ephemera on there. I like that with the colors. And so if that is that, then what did we do? Oh, we have our bag here. Well, one of these fit in this bag. If I cut it down, it would. Those as they are won't. And if I put this in there, it is just gonna fall. So it is way too. That might. How does that look then? Well, that's all right, isn't it? Let me lift this up. 
I quite like that. So I think I'm going to leave that there. And then we have this right here. Let's go ahead and put these other two. So beautiful journal cards in here. They fit. Just, I think I'm going to have to cut that down and cut this down. So let's take just a little bit off of here and see. Just a little bit more. I might just take the let me just take the borders off of these. And then I know we will be alright. There we go. And I could put some little tabs on these if I wanted to. Take it off of here as well. I might come back and put some little tabs on these so that it makes it easier. So you know they're there and it makes it easier to take them out. So I think I will. I think I'll come back and put some tabs on those. So I thought we were done, but we're not. Well, we're done because I'll do that off camera. And then when you open this up, I've got some great space. Here was our hidden. That's not going to work. I know that will work there. And this is really pretty. Will this go in there? Not quite. I don't want to cut that down. Then I've got this really, really cute one. I did a collage tag there and that fits in here. And then I did a collage tag there and I decided not to glue it to a page. So we'll see, maybe I'll have to because I'm not having much luck here. Can fit these two little tiny ones in there like that. Oh my goodness, then we have these. Boy, I've completely forgotten all of these spaces we have. And this really is why you don't need so much space inside all the pockets inside your journals. It's a little bit too long because you really have all of these great pockets here. So you have a lot of space to write. Let's put this shorter one in. It's got this really cute strawberry fairy. Get her carefully inside of there. So we have the oh, we have this too. Oh my goodness. So many places. Well, I do have some of these postage vintage collection cards. So let's see what we have here. That's really pretty. We don't want all butterflies. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's ooh, that's really nice. Okay. So let's put the fern and the butterfly in here. But this is this is turning out to be really, really nice. So we did that. So that goes there and this goes here. And then that's right, right? Am I missing something? Okay, and then this opens up. We have this, and there was nothing behind that. So then we have this right here. Oh, what can we put in there? I've got this sweet little bag here. And inside of here, I put 
this little tag and I went back and I sewed this. So this really is, you, you could use this as a pocket if you wanted to. Let's see if this will fit in here. A bag within a bag. Very cute. And then we have this. And I don't think I have anything thin enough for in there. Oh, it's a little pocket. So that's good. So that works. And then on, oh my goodness. Then we've got all these sides. Oh my goodness, guys. We've got that one. Let's see, we've got that one, and we've got this one. Oh, we've got this one, and this one, and I've got, let's just put that in there, like that. I think that takes care of that. This doesn't really show up. Let's trade this one for that one and this one in there like that and then we have well let's take care of the back here because we've got this so I have um, this card here, and I added a label and a uh, butterfly, so we can put that in there like that. And then uh, here's more or less a matching one. Um, I don't think I want two the same, but we've got this pretty one here. Let's put that in there. And then let's look in our book. I still have this one, which is so cute. So, all right, let's now look at our journal and where might we want to add. This might be really cute here because this opens up from the outside. So why don't we put this fairy, let's put that there. So this is, you know, if you, if you looked at the title and you thought, I really don't understand the title. Well, it's the end of this series, and it is the start of a new. Um, I am going to, hopefully this will stick, and I won't have an issue it should, sometimes these waxy, waxy uh, parchment paper, on one side you'll have wax, on the other side you have the paper. And sometimes glue does not want to stick on wax. So you have to test it. This is why I came back and I was, and I stitched, because I was having an issue with that. I want to make sure that there's no glue there. Put this back in in there and then this one goes in there so there was a spot for that and we don't want to get this too too busy or we will not be able to close it but i'm thinking maybe could put a pocket there like that, let's do that. Just a couple, I have these, so let's use them. Anyway, I have decided the new series is going to be a snippet roll. And um, just because I'd like to play around with some fabric for a while, and I will show you the end of this. I will show you why. Put that in there. And then we can use some of these. 
cute tags. There, like that. Like I said, we don't want to get too thick. We have to be cautious about that. Maybe. Let's do this. Anyway, we had a great weekend. Our weather's been fantastic. Warm during the day, but cool at night. So, I want to thank everyone. And I've decided to share my... Um, my uh, happy mail from Penelope Marshall and Carolyn um, Shanks, and I and I will explain that. I'm going to share it with my my next video is probably going to be my Artie Mays Design Team Challenge or Design Team Project, and I think with that I will share my happy mail. This is a tag that I collaged on and then just put a die cut up there and then a couple little um, labels that have to do with nature. So we put that there and I don't, I don't think we're getting too thick. Maybe one more and that might be good. Maybe I'll put one more right here. that and I haven't decided I think I am going to list this in my shop um, as much as I love it I tend not to keep my work I've got a friend that can't believe it I've got so many journals we still need to do the beads on the side and then we've got this really pretty tag. Can put right there. And then there we go. So I think oh, she's lovely, isn't she? She is so lovely. And she's not too thick. I did want to mention that if you are somebody that absolutely loves lots of ephemera, ruffles, that sort of thing, what you would do is you just would add maybe a quarter inch to your spine on both sides and at the bottom. So instead of a half an inch, you probably would go three quarters. But you can see this lays flat very nicely. There's no stress on anything. And so... She's just lovely, just lovely. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some beads and charms on the spine here. Let's see what we've got. If you wanna stick around with me for a little bit. And we've got four places here. I've got some seed beads. I tried to find some seed beads that more or less match the colors. So I think I'm going to begin with some seed beads here. And I think I'll start with five of them. I'd like to have that pinkish red right there. And that brown, I can grab it. And put those on there like that. And then let's grab five more. Just random, no particular order. We get what we can. Got a yellow one. Put this on here. And then I think because this one's longest, I think I will also add 
can't do that. I need the threader. This is a floss threader, by the way. Put this on here. And then one of these larger ones. It doesn't like it. So, go this way as well. I really should have gotten my wooden beads out. And then on the end of this, let's put a charm. I like to put a tree of life because um, it's several trees of life. Maybe this one and maybe this one. I think that'll maybe a made with love, handmade with love, because we were handmade with love. So I think because we've got the large bead, I am going to well, let's put some more seed beads on this because it's quite long. And if you watch me, you know I really can never get enough beads. Love the beads. Okay, I'll just put five more on here and then we'll tie it off with the Tree of Life. See how long that is. We don't need this to be too long, and I don't think there's a right or wrong, so. Just tie a knot, and then we'll cut the bottom string off. Just a little bit, like that. And so then we've got this here. And that, looks, that looks quite nice. And then on this one, I think on this one, I will leave it like this. So I need one more bead to wrap a uh, the knot around. So let's grab another bead. Just like that. Bring this all the way down. Like that. So then we've got these two left to do. So once again, seed beads. So there's, we'll put five again. I like this orange one. Maybe is that five? Yes. And then I think we will put the handmade with love up here and then we'll put three more beads. And this one will be done. So let's grab three more beads. And then I think one more to tie off. Let me get that pink one. Tie this off. Just like that. And then we have one more. And I am going to do seed beads again. Just because they add so much color. They're just really pretty to look at. 
So we'll put five on here. And then this large one. Put this large one on. And then this one here, which is really pretty. Pretty sure these beads are glass. And then a, just maybe two seed beads, three seed beads. I should go with three because I like odd numbers when we're doing something like this. So there's three. Then we will tie this tree of life on. Let's see how long our string is. Almost to the end. And then we'll put our ribbon on our book. Let's see what we've got here. You can you can have a look at what this looks like. So here are our beads. Look at how pretty that is. We've got two tree alive. We've got a handmade with love. I mean, this is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I am going to go ahead and put a ribbon on this. It doesn't need it. You can see it lays perfectly flat. But I am going to go ahead and put a ribbon around this. Just so it doesn't flop around. Find the middle. Where's my middle? Right here. Just get under this like this, probably under the back tag. You remember we had the journal card, the book writing card. This has been so fun, everybody. Thank you so, so much. And I think I will go back and put tabs on those um, those two. But here we are. Here we have it. There she is, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you had a whole, whole lot of fun with this, as much fun as I did. And the next series, like I mentioned, is going to be on... Um, it's going to be a snippet roll, and it's not going to be a roll that's meant to be taken apart and used. And that is because when I went to the thrift store, I found a bunch of these wooden spools, and they were $3.99 a piece. And I thought, let's do a snippet. They're all red. I remember seeing a couple that were blue, but for whatever reason, I did not pick them up. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to leave the paint the way that it is, but I think I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. And we're going to make a snippet roll that's going to fit on here. So, um, that is the next series. Now, before that... Um, I don't think this will begin until sometime next next week because I really need to get my Medieval Mirage design team project done. I have a beautiful, beautiful kit that JARP just came out with, and um, I'm going to be doing something completely different. I usually create the cover and then go from the cover to the signatures, but I'm having a, blank, a brain block in regards to this kit because it is so gorgeous and there's so many possibilities that um, it's just keeping me from advancing because I can't think of the cover. 
So I am going to go ahead and start doing eph ephemera and playing around with the um, the actual kit itself and then hoping that a an idea for the cover will come to me. And I may do a lot of that on camera. It's not something that I have ever done. And I'm thinking that just might be fun. So yeah, um, I might go ahead and do that. I um, just want to thank you guys, and I hope you really, really had as much fun with this as I did. And I will catch you in the next video where I share my Artie Mays design team project. So I hope that you'll stay tuned for that. Um, have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.